bastards. Viva la revolution! Oh yeah! Tous les membres, nous sommes les amis. You speak! Come on, boy! Er, I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen, but I have to go. The chick needs me. Carpeted men! By rubbing my carpeted feet over any surface, I can create a powerful charge of static electricity. I'll give you some static, you deep pile rock rat! Swing! Too strong! Can't! Speak? Oh no. He looks terrible. Tick, that's the way he always looks. No, but but his his eyes are all gooey. And he's moist all over. He's always moist. Yeah, but look at his fur. He's unraveling like a cheap sweater. I'm gonna get him to the vet! Go! 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 In the future, one out of every six people will be Abraham Lincoln. Where's our bucket of... Mental plasm! The substance of psychic energy! Thought and flesh! And I wrought it with my own mind! It was a slave to my will! Just as I was a slave to Pendeckers! Thursday, trial was held in Vardyard Court number 71, in and for the citizens of the farm. In a moment, the results of that trial. The suspect was found guilty of unlawful possession of a moo cow. In light of his explanation that it was a practical joke, the jury voted a special appropriate punishment. <laughs> Sometime around the year 11 and a half, the world was a more barren place. One could walk for miles and not see signs of civilized life. It was a lot like Los Angeles, but without the taco stands. Many bedraggled travelers gathered at a small inn where one man ruled by his sheer strength. His name was Bork, leader of the nomadic hordes and winner of a whole lot of push-up contests. <coughs> food must have food! At once, sire. The lovely Mariah served everyone in the inn. <laughs> of course, Bork was the only one who ever got any food. <laughs> Here is more meat, sire. And we had time to cook this batch. He made it clear to all that Mariah was his woman and no one had better so much as look at her. A favorite pastime of a lovesick peasant with the unlikely name and trade of John the Cartoonist. John would sit in the inn for hours drawing pictures of Mariah. Every night he tortured himself this way, 
for he knew she could never be his. He enlisted for training as a warrior and was the Army's 28th choice for service. Number 27, by the way, was a Cocker Spaniel. surrender flags. I have a feeling we're going to need them. The cart polite dinner request. More cart! More cart! Oh, I think I'll go find me the tastiest chicken in the yard. You may boo me now. You ain't getting away from me. Polish off the chick, you're next. That's what I two two two. as a fish for the whole dream sequence. Hi, who are you? I'm a fish and so is he. We're both fish. Fish are such scintillating conversationalists. What do you guys like to do? Swim. Swim? What else? What, what else, else is there? Fish hang out. Maybe they have seahorse races or something. Um, what happened to my barbecue? That that walking appetite walked off with it. Our three rules of security, Mr. Arbuckle. Rule number one. Nobody gets in without rule number two. Keep all passwords. Rule number three, obey all rules. 